So I was reading the book, Thick Face, Black Heart this morning, and a passage stood out to me. I thought it was really interesting. It goes along the lines of a lot of things that I hear people talk about. And one of them is, uh, you know, how you do one thing is how you do everything or mastering the mundane or, or things like that. Uh, so the, the story she told the, the author of the story was volunteering. The author of the book was volunteering at a church event for Thanksgiving and they had to fold, I don't know, hundreds of these napkins. And she specifically said that the task was very easy. They, she said that a fifth grader could do it well, but they had special instructions to wrap them tightly so that the, so that the presentation looked neat and they had to wrap a plastic fork and a plastic spoon. So a simple job, you know, there's a ton of them, there's hundreds of them. So they're spending hours doing this. There's several volunteers doing this. So the story goes that there is a woman across from the author of the book and she is not really putting any effort into the work and all of her napkins were folded loosely. And so the, uh, the hosts of the event had, had tried to correct her and said, Hey, can you wrap these tightly? And the author of the book specifically said, you know, even that special instruction was not difficult at all. Anybody could do it if they chose to do it. And so she watched this woman as she was sort of half-assing wrapping these napkins. And when people would pass by the, the lady that was wrapping them loosely, people would pass by and she would, people that she knew, like, you know, they would have a little banter and she would try to get them to book a massage because this lady was like a professional masseuse. And she did that a bunch of times and nobody, nobody was willing to uh, book a massage with her. And so the woman started talking to the author of the book and, and asked her if she wanted a massage. And, and of course the author was like, no, I feel great. I don't, I don't need a massage. And then she said sort of out of nowhere that the lady asked her, how do I, how do I earn money without being greedy? And the answer was learn to wrap the napkins tightly. I, and she said that the woman was really puzzled by this. And I, I totally understood exactly what she was talking about. It's like, if you're not willing to do that job well, you're probably not willing to do another job well. And so it started getting me thinking about all these different scenarios where this kind of thought process could apply. So, I mean, one of the thoughts that, that I was thinking about, you know, uh, as a business owner, anybody that has a job is, is sort of faced with, uh, I mean, not anybody. I mean, if you're like a high level executive, well, I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't know. So, I mean, anybody that's in, in a work environment, you know, especially entry level employees, a lot of times you get tasks with things that are, you know, mundane and you don't think they're very important, you know, like, uh, you know, sweeping the floor, taking out the trash, you know, wiping the counters down or, or whatever, whatever that may be. And I've had a lot of, not a lot, but I've had these kind of jobs. Like my first job was at a gas station and my second job was working at a bowling alley and, the job that I had at the bowling alley was like the lowest job on the totem pole. We were called a porter. And basically we just were there to like clean up messes and like we'd carry a bucket with some spray shit around and pick up after bowlers and shit. It was a very entry level job, you know, the high school student kind of job. And so I don't, I don't have any examples from that job, but like, for example, I mean, if you think about it, any kind of job like that, you have to think of what the perception is on how you treat those tasks that you feel like aren't important. So it's like, yeah, this is an entry level job. I'm in high school. I don't give a fuck. I'm just going to kind of do the bare minimum. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try very hard. And so what that looks like around to the people around you is that you don't, you don't give a shit and maybe you don't. But the thing is, is you're not going to get anywhere that way. So it's like, and, and I'll get to all these other examples because this can apply all, all over the place, even to like how you perceive things about yourself in your own mind. So back to the sort of workplace thing, like as a, as a, a business owner, if I hire somebody and they're not willing to do the mundane tasks well, then there's no way that I'm going to 
trust them to do the the important tasks well. Like if you can't properly ship a package, like how am I going to have you run a team? Stuff like that. It's it's. Um, I think a lot of people don't think about it. I think a lot of people think like, okay, well, I'm making this amount of money and I have this kind of shit job and I'm doing these kind of little tasks that don't really matter that much. And then once, once I'm here for a certain amount of time, then I'll get to move up and do more important things. And then I'll try harder at those things. And it's like, that's not the way, that's not the way the world works. If somebody observes you half-assing a, you know, a mundane task, they're not going to trust you with a more important task. And so I, I started thinking about other things like, like 75 hard, for example, you know, all of the tasks make a lot of sense except for the progress photo. So like you have 75 days, you got two workouts a day, you got to drink a gallon of water, you got to read 10 pages. So like all that stuff makes sense, you know, working out, you're going to get fit, you know, oh, you got to follow a diet, you know, that makes sense. Uh, drinking more water, that makes sense. Most of us don't drink enough water, all that makes sense. And then when you have, you have to take a photo of yourself every single day, it's like, you know, I get the idea that, you know, you, you have to take a photo at the beginning and then one at the end to see what kind of progress you made, but that's not why the photo's in there. And Andy talks about that. He's like, it's, it's keeping the promises to yourself. It's like, that's just a task that you have to do. And when you start thinking about tasks as if, you know, this isn't that important, obviously like my workouts are important eating healthy is important. Taking a picture of myself. I don't give a shit about that. It's not important, but that's the thing that fucks most people up. That's the thing that fucked me up most of the time. Every, well, actually every single time I failed the program, which was quite a few times, it was because I forgot to take the pro progress photo. And I even failed it on day 74. Once I finished all my shit on day 75 and I opened the app and I noticed that I didn't take the progress picture the next day. So I failed the program because of that stupid picture. But that's the whole point. It's like mastering the mundane. That's a task that you have committed to doing. So you got to do it. And so it got me thinking about all kinds of other things. And I was kind of thinking about, you know, it's one thing like in the workplace environment, it's one thing like when people see how you treat the mundane tasks, you know, whether or not they're going to trust you to do more important tasks or, you know, like personally, if I, if I see somebody that's not willing to put in the effort on the mundane tasks, they're, they're never going to get promoted and they're probably never going to, they're probably not going to make it in my business because, you know, we're trying to do big things and I need, I need to know that the people that I have there are willing to, to do a good job. Think about it from a customer's perspective. Like, one of the more mundane tasks is popping the stickers out of the sheet. So this is like kind of the job that people start out with Then when we hire somebody uh, for the sticker printing side of the business, you know, so like a lot of times we, we all pop stickers. I still pop stickers. I'm not saying that anybody's above it, but it's one of those like kind of simple tasks is like, here's how you pop them. This is kind of the most efficient way to do it. This is where they go when you're done. They put them, put them on the packing slip, et cetera. But there's one thing that's important is, well, there's many things that, that's a, that are important, but there's one mundane task and it's to wash your fucking hands. Because <laughs> if you don't, you're going to leave fingerprints on the stickers, right? So we're constantly having to remind people to wash their hands. I'm not shitting on my team. I'm just saying it's, it's a task that we forget. And so if you don't wash your hands, you're going to leave fingerprints on the stickers. So if, if me as an employer sees that somebody refuses to pay attention and look at the stickers and see if they're leaving fingerprints on them, I'm going to have a hard time trusting them with other tasks. And then if you look at it from the customer's perspective, let's say they ordered, you know, the smallest stickers, the lowest quantity that we have available and they receive their order and they open it up and the first sticker they see has a big old greasy fucking thumbprint on it. Are they going to trust us with a 5,000 sticker order? If they see a thumbprint on one of their stickers, like, did we not care enough to make sure our hands are clean or that we wore gloves 
that's the option. You can either wear gloves or you got to wash your hands. I mean, those are the two ways that you keep things from getting. I personally don't wear the gloves. I just keep my hands clean and I never leave fingerprints on shit. And so from the customer's perspective, if you got, if you got your order of custom stickers and you're all excited about it and the first sticker you see has a big greasy thumbprint on it, you, I would imagine that you're not going to trust us to do the big tasks, the mundane tasks, the small little order that for me, every fucking order, if you order one cap from us, a fucking 35, I don't even know what we sell them for 30 cents or whatever. We treat that order the same as any other order. But I could see from a customer's perspective that they may see like, oh, I'm going to do this little small order just to test these guys out and see what they're, see what they're about. And then they get that. I would imagine they're not going to trust us. And that's just one example. If, if let's say we, we sent the, the box and it was taped up all fucked up and it wasn't all, you know, the shipping label was on crooked and, and it was like kind of mangled, you know, it looks like we didn't really put any care into it. You might think like, oh, it's just a box. Like you're going to ship it. It's probably going to get banged up anyway. If we didn't treat that mundane task with the same level of importance of every other task, the perception of the customer may not be, you know, very trusting in terms of, you know, whether or not they're going to give us more business. I kind of got back on the business thing. I was talking about other shit, but um, so thinking about all of these things, you know, like with the 75 hard, you're. If you don't take that one task seriously, the taking the photo, which I hardly almost never do. That's the one that I I fuck up all the time. Like I, the last time I finished 75 hard, I barely made it. Cause like, I think I had gone to bed and realized I'd forgot the thing and got back up and took the picture and went, went to sleep. So it's the mundane tasks that if you think they're less important, then you're kind of programming your mind to believe that they're not as important. And then it's not going to remember, it's not going to remind you to do that shit. And so along the lines of like how your mind perceives this shit, I was also thinking about, you know, what happens when you don't keep your promises to yourself? And I had talked about this in an episode before. You know, the big promises, the small promises, you know, I'm going to change my ways in certain, in whatever area you think you need to change. You're going to get in better health. You're going to start that business. You're going to, you know, open this nonprofit. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. And you keep kicking the can down the road. I feel like that's kind of a similar thing. You're sort of programming your subconscious mind to not really believe what you're saying. So if you apply that to like the mundane tasks like something like taking a photo of yourself to complete this program, you're, you've already told your brain that you don't care about that task and that it's not important. And your brain's like, all right, well then we're not going to worry about it. And that's, I believe that's why it's easy to forget. And so I'm also wondering if that affects the way that you think about yourself. Like I know, and I talk about this all the time, but it's, it's it's easy to talk about when it comes to things like this. It's like my level of fitness is like just, just below where I want to be. And I I feel like I, I feel like I don't really put in, like I'm putting in a lot of effort, but I like, (laughs) I just have to do just, I don't know. It's almost like I just have to do a tiny bit more. Like it's, it's totally stupid, but it's like, I just have to change some small things. And like, I keep kind of like fucking that up. And so what I was thinking about when I was thinking about this whole thing is like, maybe I've sort of programmed my subconscious mind that that level of fitness that I want to be at isn't that important because if it was that important, wouldn't I have done it by now? Like, wouldn't I have gotten to that point? Like I'm talking about just like a few percent of body fat left that I, that I'll, I think I'll be perfectly, (laughs) perfectly happy. That's what I picture in my mind. And so now, like when I think about that, I don't think about like, oh, it's going to be cool when I get there. I think about more like if I, if I'm going to get there and, and that, which is kind of stupid because it's like, all I have to do is like specific things and I, and I absolutely will get to that point. But I think it's like, I've kind of programmed my subconscious mind that these little mundane tasks that I have to do, like watch a certain amount of calories, eat about a certain amount of protein and shit like that. Because I I've constantly sort of like not 
completely followed them. Those are the mundane tasks that I think I'm sending into my subconscious mind that it's like, yeah, I think about this stuff all the time, but it's not that important. So I don't know if that makes sense, but I also think there's also another, I don't know if metaphysical is the word or fucking whatever. I I don't know. Like I believe in that whole shit where you're like kind of putting these things out into the universe and it, it could also be like, if you're religious, you're kind of like telling God what's important to you or, or, or if you, you don't believe in any of that and, and you believe maybe there's an order to things, you're kind of like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't quite have a belief system around this stuff. Like I kind of believe that you're putting out these orders into the sort of universal order of things, whatever that means. I don't, I don't really know. So I don't not believe in things like God and religion and all that stuff, but I also don't know that I believe in it. Like, I, I, I don't know. Agnostic is probably the word. But I, but I do believe there's some shit. And so if you're constantly just fucking off and half-assing all of the mundane stuff, then you're putting that out into whatever that is, whether that's the universe, whether that's letting God know whether, whether that's programming your subconscious mind, whatever it is, you're sort of telling something that that shit is not important. And I think then you don't get what you're trying to get. You don't get moved up in the job because everybody around you sees you not doing that thing is important, but also the order the, of all this shit. If you put in, you get back, you know? And it's like, if you're not putting in on the, on the simple mundane shit, then you're probably not going to get back what you want. And when you really think about it, like, isn't life like just a series of tackling the mundane shit? Like, I mean, how many days in a row do you have these like spectacular fucking things happen every day? You wake up at a certain time, you got certain things you got to get done. You got to eat, you got to take a shower. You got to do these like little things you know, maintain your relationships, maintain your business, do all these kind of like things that they're important, but they're like, you know, they're not all these groundbreaking, crazy fucking things. It's just shit that you got to do. And so mastering the mundane shit, that's, I believe that's how you fucking win. All right. Appreciate each and every one of you guys who are supporting the cause and and continue to spread the love and uh yeah stay up <laughs>